seven years of my hair transplant advice in seven minutes let's go so hair transplant is actually just the hair transfer you get more hair on top here but you lose more from the back and sides forever it's not gonna grow back nine out of ten guys they end up getting at least a second one how to choose the best hair transplant clinic always choose the clinic or doctor based on your ethnicity and hair type and then narrow it down further based on doctors involvement in the surgery his experience and artistry and in this video on finding a perfect hair transplant clinic in 10 minutes you will learn exactly how to do it step by step link in the video description below there are two types of clinics out there boutique types of clinics operating on one to two patients a day or hair transplant factories doing five to ten also 20 plus patients a day they are the most common in turkey high number of patients a day operated at a particular clinic is one of my favorite hair transplant quality disqualifiers Make sure you always ask for that. Early hair loss should never be treated with hair transplant first, but with medication. Stay patient and observe how much hair can you recover, how much hair loss can you stabilize before undergoing a hair transplant. Hair loss is a battle. To lose the patience is to lose the battle. Listen, all of you guys who are in your 20s, early or mid 30s, and you don't want to take medication like finasteride or you simply can't take it, you have to do small hair transplant sessions of 1500 to 2000 grafts per session and build your hair slowly while preserving as much of your donor as possible from session to session. This will minimize your failures in case you end up in the wrong hands. But if you go to letsgethair.com slash consultation, you will be able to easily avoid all of the pitfalls like more than 2000 happy clients of mine. And although getting a hair transplant without medication is kind of reckless, adding temporal hair restoration and aggressive hairline design as well as young age on top of all that is outright stupid. Why? Because ending up with the island of hair in the future is probably the last thing you'd want. There are less than 100 Bugatti cars being produced on a yearly basis. The best hair transplant doctors in the world operate just like that. After having visited close to 30 hair transplant clinics worldwide, I realized that your hair transplant can be done fast or it can be done well. Sure, all of us loves to have things done quickly, but imagine what is gonna be the pain of waiting for a great hair transplant surgery compared to a pain of living with a botched hair transplant for life that needs a revision after revision. Don't forget to always consult your hair condition with multiple experts with multiple hair transplant doctors to get clarity and confirmation as far as what are going to be the challenges and advantages of your hair condition when doing a hair restoration. Even if the hair transplant has been perfectly executed, a strong lighting on a picture or a video will cause that even the best hair transplant result can look see-through and thin. Preserving your donor area on the back and sides of your head after a hair transplant is equally important as getting a great result up there. Because if they take too much hair at once or take it wrongly, you may not even get another try to fix things and improve things unlike in the Super Mario game. You will be simply out of lives. So if you fail big, you will lose big. The quality of hair transplant surgeons worldwide differs a lot because there is no general school or university that all of the surgeons in any country could just visit and get equal education, acquire equally sharp skills. But on Let's Get Hair, we keep track of the best ones across the whole world. Getting new hair via hair transplant might be a huge change for you, but don't be surprised if most of the people around you, even the loved ones that are close to you, may not even notice. When comparing the before and after results, you need two things close-up images and different angles. Only then you can spot potential issues in transplanted hair directionality, bad angulation, double or multiple follicular units placed in the hairline or temples. All that can harm the overall naturalness of the result. Always assess the naturalness of the hair transplant result on the before and after pictures, not only when the hair is long, but also when the hair is buzzed or very short, because many hair transplants can look more natural than they really are when the hair is long but once you buzz it off you can see a lot of imperfections be wary of the images showing you very harsh lighting on the before image and very poor lighting on the after image and thus making the transplanted hair look better than it really is you are not sure whether you should do a hair transplant or not or speak to somebody who will help you understand what your expectations are and tell you whether hair transplant 
will be able to match those. Ideally, a hair transplant doctor or an expert in this field. Hair transplant clinics where most of the athletes, football players, actors and singers go suck 80% of the time. Plus, do you really believe that if you go there, you get the same quality and attention as the celebrity? So always do your own research. Being able to get the best hair transplant result is also about having an unfair advantage. You were born either a poor, average or a great hair transplant candidate. And there is little you can do about it besides starting to take finasteride early on. Hair transplant cannot really give you the same density you once used to have before you even started losing your hair. Why? There is an issue with the donor zone. It's limited, so they don't want to take too much. But also, if they would, the density would probably cause diminished survival rate. And that's why most of the hair transplant doctors do not even transplant more than 40 to 50 hair follicles or grafts on a square centimeter per session. If your hair transplant doctor is talking to you in terms of managing your expectation, explaining you the benefits, but also the limitations of a hair transplant procedure, bingo, you have found at least an honest doctor. Does your doctor tell you to get on finasteride first for like 12 months before the procedure, before he can actually do it? Well, that's good because it implies that he wants to give you the best hair transplant outcome in the long run, not just take your money. Don't see hair transplants as the ultimate redemption. Just look at guys like Wayne Rooney, LeBron James, Tory Lanez or Joe Rogan. Their hair transplant didn't last because they were not taking any hair loss prevention medicine. Even if you take medication, your hair will still keep falling out in the future and you might need another transplant, but the hair loss will continue much slower as it otherwise would have. And for all of you who are interested in my one-on-one -on -one consulting services, check out the link in the video description below where you can learn more about how I can help you out one-on-one -on -one with finding the best hair transplant clinic for your hair loss, hair type, expectation and budget save you stress money and time trying to figure all of this out on your own as i have already done with hundreds and hundreds of my past clients thank you so much for watching and until next time